You know, Pastor Chuck Smith, the founder of the Calvary Chapel Movement of Churches, he's credited with saying that wisdom is simply knowing what to do with what you know. I love that definition of wisdom. It's simple, but just so very true. And that's the theme of the book before us in our journey through Daily in the Word. The book of Proverbs is truly a treasure, not only because it's filled with so many precepts and truths, but its theme of wisdom saturates each chapter, each verse of how to live skillfully, how to live well, how to live wisely. In fact, chapter four's theme is wisdom, and it's written from the vantage point of a father giving his son fatherly advice to embrace wisdom as a precious treasure. You know, the world is chaotic, filled with distractions, so many choices. So as a father, the author encouraged his son towards skillful living and a life well lived. Perhaps one of the most familiar lines in this chapter comes from verse 23. Let, let me read it to you. Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. You know, I've heard it said that whatever the heart loves, the ears will hear and the eyes will see. Meaning our thoughts, our attitudes, our choices can often stem from the condition of our hearts. And what we ultimately need is a new heart that's only given by being born again. You see, we're all born into sin and our hearts, as the Bible says elsewhere, are desperately, desperately wicked. But when we surrender our lives to Jesus, he gives us a new heart. And our new hearts are constantly in need of guarding. You see, the enemy of our souls would love to see us slip into having a double-minded heart, a heart that grows hard or proud, cold, unclean, or even unbelieving. So as the writer of Proverbs says, guard your heart for a life well lived, a life of wisdom and skillful living flows from a heart given over to and guarded by the Lord.